welcome everybody. Another deck profile here. This is a, this is a big one. Played TCG first place deck profile here by Andrew Klinger. Congratulations, the hey, king you, right here. First place. How do you the feel? Kling. The, yeah, the cling, the cling right here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel feels great. Oh, son of a bitch! Give me a win. second. Give me. Oh. I fucked up. I am streaming right oh, now. Oh boy. <laughs> Are you ready to go for real this time? For reals. Yeah, for reals. For reals. Uh, but you know what? I'm just keeping that old intro because it was great. Uh, I already said everything, uh, but now we're here off stream. Uh, I'll just have to get that clip later. But first, what first place. I, I, <laughs> I you, exactly. Uh, you got first. How you feeling Are about this? Yeah, we're going. This? Yeah, we're, going. Right we're going right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is All what right, the liquor does. All right, ask me again. <laughs> ask you again. Um, how do you feel about getting first place? We're already eat, we're eating up the half hour time slot. This is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it feels good to win. Uh, it feels good, especially to win an event where other people were playing. My other win is from Juncon Online with other people in the in real, in real life event. So you know, that one maybe not as competitive as this one, but. Yeah, it feels good, obviously. Yeah. I don't know what you want me to say there. It feels right, terrible. You're going to say it's terrible. It's like I played sucks. Cell. Why the hell did I play Cell? I want to know why you played Cell. There I want to see this deck profile because that's what everyone's <laughs> yapping about. They're like, Cell also won Australia. So we got some mm -hmm. good stuff going here. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see this profile. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's real good. Let's see. It. I just got the promos in Thursday before the event. Okay. And I uh, was talking with Petrillo a little bit about his list. And I just took that, changed it up a little bit to what I had, and then uh, tested it in the event. Okay, so these promos are doing work, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're really good. I, I definitely had some plays I could have done better. I learned a little bit, obviously. Uh, it would have been better to test beforehand, but obviously it was good enough. So, yeah, um, it was great. And uh, I had a good time, a lot of, a lot of good people. Um, let me switch over to cameras here. Amen. All right, here we go. Let's see them hands. All right. Beautiful. Here's the hands. There we go. <laughs> Hand cam. Okay, someone get a screenshot. Flip that. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Got to bring my buddy here. There we go. My wife found go. this at, at a thrift store for me, so. Amen. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so this is the Cell Reboot Leader. Uh, I had played him back in set two, so that was a fun time. Um, basically, on the front side, he kills a lot of cantrips, so you tuck a android underneath him and draw a card and you kill anything three or less not ignoring barrier um once he has three cards underneath him you may awaken and go down to five on tap one draw one or you just awaken at four if you're getting your uh, butt kicked mm -hmm. um on the back side you active main remove two cards underneath him kill something not ignoring barrier gain 5k and critical on swing tuck an android draw two that's with the new promos that's the most op part for sure as oh, well yeah. as the front part tucking an android um, the active main pops on and gain crit, tempting, but not always used. Uh, cause you, if you're going to walk into a floodgate, you don't want to just waste that. And especially That's if they true. got nothing on board, uh, cause you don't always have two cards underneath and you don't want to pitch the new promo. So it's a little bit resource management on that. You're not always going to be swinging crit, but you're going to be gaining value and that's all you care about. That's fu It's funny because before this promo, anytime I've played against uh sell it's always been how many times can i swing my leader crit in the game like that was the whole <laughs> engine it's like okay let's put that Doctor's is a Road double crit like, sure. that's like, yeah. that seemed like the only kind of viable play style like hand control and leaders crit the entire time let's go nuts yeah that's a play style it's just not my play style uh i'm not gonna lie i have jero in here obviously oh, yeah. uh but <laughs> but so here's how our, our opener goes um this card this 18 and the 17 um, they both on play get you a card. 18 just straight up draws. 17 looks at top five for an Android. Mm -hmm. um, if you're without a unison, prefer the 18. If you're without the promo, I prefer the 17 on turn one. Okay. Um, they both tuck active main from the field to get under your leader as well. So you can do turn two awakens if you play one of these as well. So very useful. Um, Androids is definitely you need to keep up the Android count to always draw off your leader. Um, then we play the dual name. Used to be a little like iffy on this card because it's just a. It's a, if you kill something with any skill, you can free play this. 
I don't mm-hmm. believe it has to be your leader skill. Um, by one of your skills, correct. Okay. So you can just free play this. It's a 10k crit. That's all it is. Early game, sure. If you get that, great. If not, it plays. You can maybe tap it for a repost, what have you. Um, but it, it tucks your leader, draws a card. And that's mm-hmm. the most important thing. That's why you want to play four of is because then you have more cards underneath your leader. Then you can keep killing and swinging crit. That's why you would definitely well, run four if you can. Um, then here we are, the three to row. Yeah. Um, normally you wouldn't run three Chompas in a deck, right? But this is an Android. It's on color. So you definitely just, yeah, just run three. You could narrow it down to two if you were really desperate for some slots. But You already um, said the, the por- important part of that over, you know, Chompa that you know, got sent to hell is that it's on color. So worst case scenario, it's in your hand. Yes. It's just a charge. Or it's, yeah, yeah, just something you're tucking underneath. Like, it, you have ways to just get rid of it if it's clogging your hand. Mm-hmm. Because I would prefer not to tuck this card as well. Mm-hmm. That way you can just get another card underneath your leader. Now we go into the promo that makes this deck viable. There it is. This is So this is the whole reason Cell is getting in the top? Is that what you're saying? Yes, this card for sure. It does so much for you. I think my highest hand size might have been 13 in the green mirror that I played. Oh, um, okay. So, okay. Yeah, usually you weren't having that. You don't get that big of a hand size in a hand control deck. Yeah, That's not no, how the game works. It was both, like, this both, one, both you were suffering the entire time. You're not on exactly. easy street over there, 13 cards. So this one has a, lo- a wall of text. Um, so first, most important part, when you tuck him from your hand, you look through your deck for a... Two, one cost, 17, 18, or cells. Mm. When you add up to two, then you put one in your discard pile, which sets up for his on-play auto. His on-play auto is KO anything, not ignoring barrier. Play a cell, one cost, from your drop area. Okay. You can play him from underneath your leader for one green and the cost of bottom decking a card. So essentially, wrapped up, this turns your leader swing into a plus... A hard plus two, I think the math is. I don't know. You, you get to see three new cards, basically. Okay. Or four new cards, but you got to get rid of one. Okay. Um, and then, obviously, playing it from underneath the leader, but you do got to get rid of the card. Um, to play it is, you know, net zero. Um, and then killing something is great. Um, there's a little bit more synergies. We'll get into that in a little bit. But this card just is the sauce. <laughs> if it, yeah, if it's reviving this deck to a point where you're getting first at a fucking regional... That's some sauce. Oh, also deflect double strike. 20. Yeah, the, uh, of course, you got to tap go. that on. There you too. go. Got to have deflect. It's green. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. So here's the cell that we play. Uh, just this one drop uh, on play draw card. That's all it needs to say. That's all it says. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't even know what the other auto says. The leader's green Z card. Remove one card from your opponent's earthling tokens. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It draws exactly. one in its cell. That's what it matters. Yep, that is what we play. I, I run three of. It was more than enough. It was. I mean, I wouldn't run any less. You could run four. Um, you definitely need to be playing this off of the six drop. So you definitely want to do it if your opponent has any kind of like. Because the six drop, you have to discard a card when you tuck it. You can oh, discard okay, the yeah. cell, which sets up for the on play. So uh, it sets okay. itself up. If your opponent has any kind of like discard hate, uh, maybe you run four of. I guess. Um, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, if you're a little bit, if that's more in the meta. So, because we're playing a one drop for essentially free, mm, we're playing Bardock Paternal Units. Okay, we're getting nasty with it. This is what I like to see. So, because this is all thanks to Patrilla, he saw he told me this line, and I was like, oh yeah, duh, of course. So then you play this for one, right? You lose a card from hand. You play your one drop. You draw that card back. Mm-hmm. So you, this is free from hand. You don't lose any cards, and they have to defend those cards still. And then you pop it with this, and then your opponent has to lose one hand. So that's a hard net one card, mm. which you don't see very often in Dragon Ball. You don't see any hard nets all too often. No, um, yeah, that, that's still my favorite unison for shit like that, where it's just mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, we got a free, a free play one drop. Yeah, might as well get my benefit from the card and just get rid of it so my opponent can suffer a little bit. Exactly. Not only that, but the, on, the auto to remove a card from the yeah. combo area is just so relevant in mm. today's Z energy meta. Um, it's just, that's just absurd. I mean, this heart, this deck, because of the unison and the hand control, like, 
I mean, it's I, I don't know what the percentage is, but I want to say it's like a hard U7 counter, which is so fantastic for the game because it was spent months worrying about the yellow U7 deck and complaining about it every week. And this deck go. just feels you're great. Good it to into it. Now. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say it's dead. Obviously, it's got great matchups. I'm sure it can still win. Um, not going to lie, you know, there's moments where I was like, oh, shoot, if I do this, I'm probably in trouble. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just the way to control the whole Z charging aspect of the game between killing their cantrip with your leader and stopping them from charging with this, it's very good, very useful control. Um, this guy can also gain triple attack in 5k so 20k three times yeah. so <laughs> if they if they battle card floodgate you with like the black bardock yeah this card is mvp for sure no so super sick and it was i'm pretty sure that's part of set 10 right so that was like the first wave of actual unisons besides the expansion ones and it's still it's holding true today which is awesome exactly so because we run in unison gotta throw the one charismatic in there your scr um, yeah yeah yeah, well, one of them. Mm. Uh, and then I play three dormant to tag along that. Mm. Um, you know, maybe four someday. But instead of the fourth, I did play one. Ooh, okay. One Majin Buu. And it mm. came up. I usually saw it most games because you're drawing a lot with the whole card advantage thing. Um, and when it comes up, it comes up. And it's it's real nice. People, you know, aren't expecting it. And obviously easily, easily countered if they're expecting it. Yeah. But that's the thing about today's meta is, you know, you're not expecting green to play a battle card floodgate so you yeah. usually aren't citing those things in so you can get away with this and if you if you don't then i mean i guess you're shit out of luck but mm. you know it's it came up in the green matchup for sure because i was like ah no he's not gonna be running these in the green here there's no way um to protect the unison as well since we awakened down to five life mm -hmm. i play three clones um normally i would only play two in a deck but since i'm at five life anyway gotta gotta run with three to keep that unison alive if you can Mm -hmm. um yeah play it negate the attack play a blocker um i was on paragus super combos and mm -hmm. i have the alt art foils and they're beautiful so don't hate me when i just got these basic <laughs> <laughs> go hans okay i'm okay. already buying back the ones i sold to a guy a couple years ago <laughs> for the uh the foil ones um but yeah i ran i decided to run this last minute because you don't want to run out of one drops in your deck off the promo because you're play. I only played eight eleven, so okay. this to bottom deck another one drop. Obviously, you can bottom deck a one drop when you play the six drop cell promo, but you could continue to bottom decking them with this. Um, it didn't come up in the tournament, but the the difference is you're already going into four life so fast that this being a zero for zero isn't is not relevant unless you're running into a victory strike uh, with yellow seven. But yeah, you know. So I guess, sorry, you're going to have to come up with something else. If you... <laughs> <laughs> Different game plan against that thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's how I run that. Um, something because we're not a Saiyan. Yeah, there we go. We I was wondering, because you were saying battle card negates. I'm like, this is the one battle card negate that I've been seeing a lot with green. And yeah, this this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely nice. We don't get uneasing, but we get this King Piccolo. Um, very good into a lot of things. Obviously, there's... So what he does is he negates the attack. You can play from one if you have three non sands between your Z energy and your drop area. Mm -hmm. Well, your leader is ditching two. Your cell promo is ditching one. So you can fill up your drop area very fast. You can get this guy down to one on turn two, um, which can be great into things like Black Vegito, Red Broly Swap. Um, you know, I mean, there's other examples, I'm sure, but those are the two that came to mind based off of my matchups. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, just good card kill something is basically kind of like a charismatic but five or less on play kills a five or less so not always it as also good as hard negates too right but yes it also hard yeah. negates so and then with our other energy typically on defense we play three mm -hmm. cells kamehameha makes sense it's cell yeah, he knows yeah. kamehameha of course so we play cells kamehameha why wouldn't you this is my favorite card in the game oh yeah <laughs> ripping a random card and 15k combo is just yeah that's it Anything where it's want. your choice for discarding just makes it that much better. It's just like, okay, let's see if I win the lottery mm -hmm. today. Let's see if I get that and when card they don't, needs. And then when they do have a choice and they don't discard the one that draws them a card or to burrow, you mm -hmm. just, all right, you don't have it. You discard three more or something mm -hmm. like that, you know. <laughs> uh, barrier removal and discard. Yeah. Father Sun Solidarity, the most common green card in the game. Yep. Um, 
Yeah, you just play it for two, kill something, swing big. Yeah, uh, why not? You're playing green, two energy. Mm -hmm. I guess why it's not is if they got petrification. That's kind of the the one caveat. Right, but then they then they have to lose two cards. That's true. So, so it's not horrible. You know, it's not a horrible. It's not the end of the world, but I, you're you know you I would hope you're not putting the game on the line with this, but yeah, that's true. Into into a petrification, but um, and then I run two cooler here. Uh, okay. And I never played cooler. Uh, but he's a he's just a heck of a card to have as like you got one card left in your hand you need to fl close the game out this is the guy you want in yeah. green it's because you can spend three energy and get three double strikes yeah and you know he, he restands if you have a Z card he, on swing you can make them discard something or kill something and he swings double strike has barrier yeah especially uh, with Broly now like yeah mm -hmm, super mm -hmm. sick this energy is just too good uh, we got an overrealm because. Why not play an Overrealm? This guy seems to be the most popular meta choice for reasons, obviously, because he kills six or less all the tokens. Mm -hmm. Token negates or Tapion you know, goes everybody runs L. Yeah, he's got definitely reasons. You, you got good board control. Uh, I wouldn't say he was ever like you know the most crucial thing ever, but it's another free 25k swing. So mm -hmm. Good. Um, and then the last card of the main deck is my Secret Rare of Parunga. Mm, okay. Uh huh. Yes, he is. Yeah, he, you can run Salzino, but I want to win like on turn four, or even just slap this out and just swing the whole momentum of the game like on turn three. Um, he's just very good. Uh, he can either tap anything down, usually in energy. Mm -hmm. He can make them discard one. You draw one, or he can kill anything, um, ignoring barrier, and he can do one of those three choices up to three times. You can repeat the same ones, and then he goes away. What did you find uh, yourself the using the most? Uh, tap your less energy, discard two, I draw two. Every single mm, time. That is, yeah, that makes sense. That's super sick. Yep. Because, uh, like I said, with, you got enough board control, and you got the father-son solidarity, so if you, the barrier is usually not a problem. But um, maybe if a Black Vegeta was set up a little bit more than the one I played, um, then I could see him being, you know, you got a lot of barrier blockers too, so... Yeah, uh, great card. I wouldn't run anything else. I don't care that you can cheese out a cell and just like make their hand zero. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna. <laughs> That's too much setup, too much combo. It's true. This deck's not about comboing. This deck's just about gaining value and threatening their life. Well, you had 13 cards in hand in a cell deck, so yeah, I think <laughs> I think value is your number one uh, victory mm -hmm. clause here. Um. Speaking of victory, here I also run victory strike. I'm just oh, there we go. Um, Jeez, this is a <laughs> so, nutty list. So Z deck time. Um, Z deck time, exactly. So there's three Broly. So the Z deck, there's not a lot of slot. Like I'm not like starving for slots. So I just mm -hmm. ran three Broly. You kill something on your board, reduces cost by one. Kill something on theirs if you have four more energy. Mm -hmm. Sorry, if you have four more energy, you gain double strike. You can kill something on theirs if you have three or more energy by killing one of your own things too. Uh, I played Broly quite a bit, so he's just a really good Z card. Mm -hmm. um, play two of the Z extra because I can run two. Um, another Cells are destroying Kamehameha. Very good. Yeah, of course. Uh, one Cell there Z. There he leader. is. There, there's he, that free Cell uh, the EDK. Uh, <laughs> never did it, <laughs> but I could see where you might want to... Uh, so essentially, he costs two, and he on defense he would make your leader a twenty-five k for the turn, and you mm -hmm. can free play a cells or destroying once per turn. So like, in a scenario where you're playing out like a wide aggressive deck, I could see you saving two for defense going into this, and then using your one cells EDK to get out of something. Um, so you know why not? I'm not starving for Z. Like I said before, yeah. I mean I only ever played the Broly and the Z extra, so mm -hmm. you could you could. Get it's just it's great. basically like another side deck thing where your z deck there's just some decks where you don't really need too many things in your z deck you're like okay why not this situation could come up let's have it yeah why not so same with this bardock here um just another unison to play on demand that would give you cards it's plus zero's draw card mm. um <laughs> that's pretty much all it's gonna do for me at this in this deck uh yeah i mean i guess you could also make them discard one um he synergizes with the the green Goku four drop. You could maybe add two of those or something. Then you would have access to that package where you could give him blocker and he could be dual attack or something like that. Um, I just didn't go that route. I didn't want to have any kind of yeah combo. Like I just want to gain value and play good cards. Um, 
And then I play a Frieza. That card's good in times. Kill something and make some discard when something else swings. Mm -hmm. And then I have a Jiren in case I need a unison removal. Unlike yeah. Gohan, this, the deck doesn't inherently have it. Mm -hmm. So I thought a Jiren would be good. Um, yeah, so that's the Z deck. Obviously, if they come out with new Z cards, I would, you know, you could slap you whatever. Could go down a Broly. Yeah. yeah, you could go down a Broly. You could cut Frieza. You could cut the. You could maybe even cut the Z leader if it's good enough. You know, I, I don't want to do it. So, here's the Z deck. The Z deck. This is the side deck. That's what they call the it. The side Z days. deck, maybe. <laughs> Two Koi Yeah, uh, You know, there's, there's a lot of decks that get punished by that. Uh, it's on them for playing 15Ks for. Or is it 20? 20K. Yeah. BMS Sorry. is the 15K boy. This is the 15K. There case. you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> two BMS, two coits, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's just hopefully for Tapion and mm. what have you. That's yellow. Koizukai doesn't or yellow doesn't like Koizukai either, so. Uh, Cooler Mill yeah, hates Koizukai. I <laughs> feel like everybody's running mm. those, so. Tapion, BMS, there you go. Uh, some hate for sparking D-Magic. Um, Fair enough. Yep. It's on color. It's sideable. There you go. Um, some green mirror hate. Okay, uh, fair if they make you discard, you discard this. I like how they look so similar. Like <laughs> the, the blue hate and then the green hate it's... for green. Yep, <laughs> that is the same move. <laughs> uh, yeah, I played a green deck. He played the 8-drop Goku. When you kill you to discard three cards, well, I discarded two of these. So. No, there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, it, yeah, <laughs> it helped me more than it helped him. <laughs> Uh, I got two Gohan rares to kill some Unisons. Very good for Green Mirrors. Very good for Black Vegito. Uh, yeah, you definitely want to get those guys out of the way. Uh, like, that removes three markers when you Z-charge it and pay green. And then I got some uh, more Blue Hate, the Cunnings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is all very standard stuff. And then something fun and unique because you're Cell Z leader. Or Cell leader. You can Ooh. run this yellow... I, yeah, uh, Titan Toppler. He is basically a free final flash, not ignoring barrier. Okay. So if you don't have any battle cards in play, you can play this for free and negate some a card's skills for the turn. Choose the card and then negate their skills. Uh, yeah. So obviously that would be good against like Blocker Goku. Um, that'd be good against Gogeta with all their Aegis and stuff like that. Um, yeah, definitely. And it's an Android. You can tuck under your leader. The leader doesn't care about the color. So. If, if it's useless at the time, you can always tuck it. So that is a, that's a nice side deck card for sure. Damn. And uh, that's it. That's everything. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah. you're, you're showing me that Cell, Cell's got uh, some heat now. That that promo pushing it up, I do like that side deck choice at the end, just having that little uh, final flash um, mm -hmm. kind of just blank out some skills. Did you ever like find yourself using it at all? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, we can talk about my matchups a little bit too. Yeah, but um, let's see that beautiful face I didn't. Face again. Up, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> well, one card I think I'm going to add that I completely spaced out on while I'm building this. You know, like an hour before deadline um, was this card. Mm. This, if you have four mana energy and you have the cell in play, you can just free play this and tap anything of theirs. So you can tap an energy. So between this and Peruga on turn four, you could tap four of their energy if you really wanted to. Damn. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you know, just nonchalantly. Just, yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm probably going to cut a cooler. Probably going to cut a cooler and throw him in there. And that'll probably be a, a build I'm very happy with. No. Maybe some other sick. side deck changes as we go. But Using expert deck cell cards. Now, that's uh, that's something I wouldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk? Hey, I, I mean, all the androids I open with are all from the deck. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, there, there he is. Go. So yeah, I uh, I played a good variety of uh, you know I didn't get a lot of I know Tiago from the team played like six or five Black Vegitos in a row. <laughs> Jeez, I I got a good spread. I didn't play against any blue, um, but greens you know had I, I was gonna say that should be a good blue. thing. Like that'd be like harder that you got through that far without facing blue because blue is just like gets eaten for dinner by green. It used to, you know, yeah. I'm sure it's, Tapion it's, draws I'm sure it's, yeah, yeah. And I'm not, you know, it's not like I have to control your hand. It's just, I'm throwing double strikes at mm. you. I'm throwing big crits at you, you know, crit double strikes at times. Mm. Uh, but yeah, no, I've, so I started off with a buy. I had a super hard matchup. The guy was great. Uh, 
he, he didn't show up, so. <laughs> Bray didn't talk much, you know. And we yeah, just, we real quiet guy. Break. He's a quiet. Got to watch out for those quiet kids. It's true. Um, <laughs> then uh, the next round, I mean, I played against U, two U sevens. I played against uh, the blue yellow variants. I believe he won the last regional, and I played against the mono yellow variant. Um, it just it just feels good to finally actually have a good matchup into that. Um, and then I played against two black decks. I played against a Foo, and I played against the Vegito in the finals. Um, I played against Red Broly Swap Reedsy. That was definitely the closest game of the day. Um, yeah, I even had to warp my Perungo for my hand because I'm like, well, I can't play this. This isn't going to decide the game. So I guess I'll warp my Secret Rare and get it back never because the game will be over by then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then I played a green matchup, the green Goku as well. So uh, I got a good variety. Um, it performed well. I mean, you're drawing cards, you're pressuring. That's and you got some okay defense. I mean, between you got to spend a lot of energy mostly on defense. I mean, ideally you're like playing only one energy like on a cell on your turn, and then you're doing some in, enough impactful things between that your unison and your leader, mm -hmm. and then you just save defense for like you know cells that are destroying it, and then the pick a lone gate as well and whatnot. Um, so it's just you got to just play it um, with value in mind and just it's a lot about knowing what your opponent can throw at you and how to respond between do I need to over combo this or do I just need to floodgate them and then token negate to end their turn you know no well damn congrats again that's uh that's still <laughs> I'm glad that cell has gotten a tune up because I I'm this is what I set three liter that got rebooted and now this is kind of just Another push for the leader. Set two? two set two? No, I think, I think so. set two's androids, the seventeen and eighteen. Maybe it's maybe they're both were out that time. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. You're right. <laughs> I know I read it and I had a play bat with like the Z squad on it. I was like, I'm yeah. gonna run the I'm gonna run all the Z squad in my cell deck. It's yeah, they're... super cool. <laughs> I, I lost locals. If you wouldn't believe it, yeah. I had yeah. like vanilla TNs in there. I don't know. There you or go. no, the TN back in the day that self awakened you. The, the you one that's, you that's had to tap two for? Yeah, and I combo. had vanilla Yamchas, and then I can't remember, but yeah. I didn't win locals. I thought it was going to be cool, no. but we should do deck profile on that one. Actually. See, there we go. Now that now you're now you're talking <laughs> some good shit. It's hot 2017 <laughs> deck profile. Yeah, hot we're a we're a little late. We're a little late <laughs> on this deck profile, but this this definitely won a local somewhere in 2017. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I actually, a guy asked me for the list uh, after I won it. He's like, so I'm going to play locals. Go. Uh, can you send me a list? He's like, uh, and then today he messaged me, I won locals. <laughs> there and we then today go. I, I, I heard Australia won as well, or Oceania. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, got to get New Zealand some love. It's true. I know the true. Australians hate that, but, <laughs> you know. Yeah, well, <laughs> there's probably a couple of them still up in the chat. You can uh, fight with them with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go bug them right now. Yeah, there we go. Well, thanks for showing off the deck. Like I said, I'll say mm -hmm. it a hundred more times. Congrats again. Um, but yeah, this is, I think this is the second profile record. We got a, a bunch. I don't know. I know at least we got beer. Beer's the next one we got to do. Mm -hmm. But fucking carrying the team here, getting a first with a Cell. And we'll, you ended up getting a first with Frieza as well, too. That was last season. Yeah, Freeze is yeah. up. So yep. Freeze, you're mm -hmm. getting the villains. You're getting these villains. So is Boo the next one? Is the, ne the next win going to be Boo? You're going to go in order here? The Z villains? Uh, <laughs> I've never liked any of the villains yeah. in the show. <laughs> yeah, well, you're winning with them, so I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yep. I'm yeah. a bad guy.